Look for this severe cases, cerebral palsy, you will see no movement at all. If you use maximum mode, another button on the 3D machine, you will see this picture again. A big lesson we have learned from an encephalic baby. Due to religious reason, mother didn't like vitreal pregnancy with an encephaly. And we have seen at 90 weeks chaotic movements. Mother used to come every month to us. It is right of the mother to deliver even one born baby. Don't influence at all. So, 90 weeks chaotic movements, amplitude, high amplitude, and so on. 20 six weeks also, but we knew from the textbook that by 30 weeks, upper center of motoric activity located in cortex is formed. Upper center at 30 weeks does control function lower center, which is there from time of implantation. So let's see the same baby at 32 weeks, when the upper center is formed, no movement at all. So baby is lacking brain, lacking upper center for motoric control, no movement. We see patient one month later, 36 weeks, 40 switch on, but no movement at all. And this is a very scientific approval of the existence of two centers that you will find in the textbooks described. So we published the paper showing that 14 weeks an encephalic baby has hypertonic movement, high amplitude, but baby at 30 weeks has no changes in facial expression like moving. Another trisomy, trisomy 80, has abnormal test. Look at this fixed position, no movement, and test was highly negative. All our five cases of trisomy 80, 18 had very abnormal test and those then uh, at Look at the face, no reaction at all, no facial expression. Again, fixed position, abnormal test, the abnormal neurobehavioral assessment. Then we published multi-centric study. You can see many different centers in the world in which 288 high-risk patients were developing cerebral palsy have been studied. Among them, 18 had abnormal findings. What happened with these 18 cases with abnormal HANET test? Look at this busy slide. But five of them terminated pregnancy. All of them trisomy 18. Ladies and gentlemen, trisomy 18 brain is seriously affected. So six of them died in utero, but seven have been born alive. This is most important. What happened with seven cases, seven fetuses without normal kind of test? What happened with them after delivery? They have been subject of two neonatal assessments by very experienced neonatologists who will be next month on meet with us in, in uh, Dubai. Professor Milan Brimian, neonatologist, he asked if he applied ATNA, amyotism neonatal test, and prehtal general movement score. So two fetuses with abnormal canon antenatally had abnormal ATNA and had abnormal general movement prehtal test. That was very stimulating. This is work in progress, we are still looking at final figures. However, one of our lady from Bosnia, Amira, was preparing her PhD, and we sent her in Sudan, because we have fellowship program there. Ali Vera will say thank you, I'm mentioning Sudan. Good. <laughs> we are running course there, and uh, we sent her to stay for one year and a half. And she was working, teaching students as a trainer and also doing research. So she studied 700 high risk patients of cerebral palsy, 3D and 4D, applying our test for her PhD thesis. She found 
that the higher incidence was in threatened preterm delivery with premature rupture of membrane. The second leading cause was previous delivery of cerebral palsy. So she published several papers, excellent papers. Now new one on Matthews is coming out soon. So incidence in general is three to four per thousand. You can see here that we have twelve percent and 9.5% is written, written labor. It's a horrible problem. Problem, financial problem, it costs a lot. Long term, short term prognosis is very, very bad. So whatever we do, ladies and gentlemen, to prevent preterm labor, we will prevent in the same time cerebral palsy. Now, is there continuity between fetal and neonatal? My friend Urli is studying now mentality of the fetuses. And uh, we did study in which my group assessed antenatal behavior, mentality of the fetuses. The same person in different parts of its life in neonatal period was assessed by video camera in the nursery room on the dressed fetus without disturbing the, the life. The baby, naughty boy with tongue exclusion, had the same behavior in neonatal period. <coughs> Look at similarity. This is beautiful picture, the same like with photography. So this should soon became passport photo entering Pakistan without visa. <laughs> I had no problem. Your ambassador in Sarajevo is a very good man. He even offered me lunch when I went for visa. Good. This is happy baby in utero. What happened with the same baby, neonatally? This charming lady, Amiel Tisson, she is now 82, but when you see her, you will say she is uh, 52. She published neonatal signs indicating prenatal insults. And I said to myself, can I detect it antenatally when behavior, neurology is quite different? What are the signs she described? High action palate, non reductible attraction of the tongue clenched fist, cranial ridges or whatever it suggests. So I try to detect them in fetuses antenatally. I asked the power due to insufficient molding forces to high part in tongue. I must confess, very difficult, almost impossible to detect. We can manipulate, we can go inside, we can rotate, but with the present level of sophistication of ultrasonic machines, we cannot detect this, I confess this. However, finger and thumb movements are visible very early in fetal life. Fetus start to clench and unclench their feet from 12 weeks, so this is detectable. This is now our routine practice. I advise some of you interested in this to start to do this, to visualize normal finger position after 20 weeks when the process of hyperplasia, formation of new specific cell, cells of the brain stop. This is very important. If you can visualize independent movement between two fingers, this is a very high 
probability is already neurologically normal. And if you can visualize separated down uh, to the simple two tests, but very informative. We have so-called neurological thumb in some cases of trisomiectin. Uh, sutures, cranial sutures are easily visualized. If the process is intracranial in cortex, there will be overlapping of the sutures or fontanel again with the normal cranial sutures in 3D sonography. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the era of evidence-based medicine. So, Science starts when the measurements start. Even Galileo Galilei, at 16th century, said, measure what is measurable, and make measurable what is not. So, do measure, you do scientific work. How all of these parameters, spectacular in nature, can be used for scientific measurement? Although science is measurement, not all measurement is science. So, Everything we now do believe came from Cochrane database. Very important. However, everything started much, much earlier. Alexander the Great had the best teacher, Greek philosopher, Aristotle, who taught him about common sense, and that was the beginning of the evidence-based sciences. We developed a scoring system which, by international consensus, was called, with my name, Kanet. Korea Continental Test, and it is based on three-point scale system analyzing head sutures, analyzing facial expression, analyzing uh, isolated hand movement, leg movement, and uh, finishing with definitively abnormal borderline normal. So this is test now about the test center. From the 4th to the 6th of May, 10 leaders of the not the Central Society will meet in Dubrovnik, birthplace of Don School, this whole fits the patient society, and we will discuss what in common we have and what are lessons learned and what are the future challenges through the International Common School itself project. So finally, we introduced kind of test 3D and 4D are promising in evaluating cerebral function. Magnetic resonance is not necessarily alternative, it is complementary. Both methods are poorly predicted before 20 gestation leads to the brain immaturity. We would like to develop a neurological test, which will take five to 10 minutes to a routine examination of pregnant women. It can be applied to all pregnant women, telling for the first time to acting clinician about new information, which no one test includes in. It tells us about the about function of the brain. If we apply this test routinely, again, it will take not more than 10 minutes, but we will have a very important new information. So, to develop neurological tests, we still have to go a long way. Once more, Incidence of cerebral palsy didn't change since 1951, and 90% of the causes are neutral. Again, you and me should detect it. Do we have alternative method? There is ultra fast magnetic resonance. Look at the baby here. You can see a lot. You can see the brain, you can see the umbilical cord, the movement of the legs. You can see quite a lot. What, however, you cannot see, you cannot see face. You cannot do facial expression. And no one on the earth would buy magnetic resonance to do screening for cerebral parts. Four million euros, while the most expensive ultrasonic machine costs 100. There is our Chinese director. He has a cheaper machine. So magnetic resonance is not alternative. Good. Welcome to this important meeting in the Dubrovnik 